Thank you and good evening. Welcome to our concert. Uh, it has been entirely too long since we've gotten to do this. I mean, 13 months. So. Welcome back. Yeah. That feels good. I can't describe. Yeah, I probably you all know. You know how it feels too. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. This is so awesome. Uh, that was called Big Four March. It's by Iowa's great march composer named Carl King. Uh, he, we do one of his about every year. He lived in Fort Dodge most of his life. Other than John Philip Sousa, he's probably considered the great march composer that ever probably did this. And uh, we'd like to do one of his tribute to him in Iowa. The next thing we're going to do is a favorite of the kids and of mine. Mr. Vowles discovered this and gave it to me to try. This is called Chasing Sunlight. This is by a very young uh, new composer named Kate Nishimura. She's Canadian. She won the, what was it, the Canadian Band Association Composition Competition. She won that with this in 2017. This is called Chasing Sunlight. It's going to be, it's going to feel and sound a little bit different than the last one. It's going to borrow techniques from a style called minimalism. You're going to hear lots of the same thing going over and over again, but you're also going to hear different musical colors come in and out of it, like a musical kaleidoscope. Um, I was reading the notes, and this really struck me, because this is like their favorite piece, it's probably mine too, um, was inspired by the experience of driving westward into the sun, face, uh, chasing the sun, trying to keep up with it so it doesn't set. And uh, the steady eighth note motif of the piece represents a certain sense of urgency. So you're going to hear that, and then it, um, it's kind of like you hear the sun, low in the sky, warm, and they try to give these warm colors. And what she say here, she says, just as the sun will always set, humans must accept the impermanence of all things in life to make the most of every opportunity that's before it has passed. Well, I think we've all lived that. So, uh, yeah, true. So this is for them, because we've had, I feel like this whole last 13 months has been like the winter of our discontent, and we've been chasing the sun, waiting for that to get over with. And here we are, and guys, I, I, the end's in sight, right? The end's in sight, so hey. This is for them, this is for you. Welcome back, we give you Chasing Sunlight.
I've got one more to share with you. This is called 321. It's by Brian Balmages. He's a, he's a composer. A lot of his stuff gets, has been getting played for the like ten, last 10, 15 years. I, I like his music. I've done quite a bit of it recently myself. This one was commissioned by the Indiana Bandmasters Association, I believe. They have this uh, auto race over in Indianapolis called the 500, you've probably heard of. And this was kind of, he had this in mind with the 321 before the starting. But he says it applies to anything that can be anticipated with a countdown. In my life, a lot of you guys know about me, it would be a rocket launch. But for a lot of other people, it might be something else. But that 321 moment where you do that, and then you're going you're gonna to hear this in the beginning. You're going to hear this anticipation, this sense of foreboding. And then you're going to hear it kind of go into a totally frantic kind of a thing full of suspense. And he plays a lot with what we call meter in music, with how many beats are in a measure, and things like that. And you'll hear that in the, in the piece. Thank you for coming out tonight. We didn't expect the crowd this big. This is awesome. It's a testament to Waverly and Shell Rock. It really is. Thank you very much. We close this evening with uh, 321 by Brian Ballmages. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>